coming at you today with a Ukrainian delicacy, courtesy of my chef friend, fish jerky, old style. All right, there we go. First panfish of the trip. Beautiful. It's a nice little eater, little female. There we go. Number two, girls. This is the first day ever that I've filmed with a GoPro. I've used a Contour Roam my whole life, but I switched to GoPro recently. There we go. Number three. Yeah, girl. Just nice small eaters. I just want like five or ten of these things to make the jerky with. There's a better one. Nice solid decent eater. I'm just using a simple casting bubble rig. I'll show you in a moment after I'm done uh, filling my stringer up with five to ten bluegill. And another one, coming in hot. There we go. You know, everything considered, this is fairly hot action. As all good bluegill fishing should be. There's a beautiful male. Look at the orange on that, that bad boy. That's what we're talking about. There we go, there's another bad boy coming in hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Couple more and we are absolutely golden. Come here, Dangus. Now comes the fun part, processing these bad boys. That's a little chunker, a little chunky female. So very simple, all I'm using is a sliding casting bubble, partly filled with water, down to a barrel swivel, down to a leader, with an Aberdeen hook and a little bit of worm on it. Very simple, very easy, very effective. Here's my 10 bluegill I'm gonna jerkify. All just small eaters and honestly I'm probably doing this pond a favor by keeping them. The recipe doesn't call for scaling them, but I don't want yucky scales in my jerky, so I'm going to quickly scale all of them. Now I'm going to gut these bad boys, Just cut her open along the belly, and pull all the junk out. All right, so here's all of our scaled and gutted sunfish. So next we gotta start making a slurry with Morton salt. So pour some salt in, then pour some water in. All right, I got four boxes of salt. First box of the slurry I'm going to use to line the bottom of this five gallon bucket. All right, so next step is I gotta fill the gut cavity of all these sunfish with salt, that salt slurry, before we pack them in the bucket. Now we place them in the bottom of the bucket. Then we add another layer of slurry. Then we add another layer of fish. And now we add the remainder of the slurry. So last step is we gotta put pressure on it. So wax paper, glass pie, pie plate, 
and gallon of water. Yeah, girl. It's been five days. Time to take them out of the salt. So there's all of our salty boys, all cured up. Now we gotta rinse all these guys off. Now you roll them in cheesecloth. I wired up both ends so I can hang it to dry. Well, got my mummified bluegill all hung up to dry, all 10 of them. Just about the only good thing an ugly stick is good for. <laughs> Now all you got to do is just rip that fish open and start picking the meat out. All right, let's eat. Kind of has the consistency of jerky, a little bit softer, but still nice and firm. It is very salty. I'll tell you that much, man. But still a fun little project to make. <laughs>